There was a story of uh, two shepherd, shepherds that on one night happened to stay together in one place along with their sheep. The following morning, they realized that their sheep were mixed up. And both of the shepherds had to leave to different directions. And so one of the shepherds walked in a distant yard and he started to call each of his sheep. The first one, the second, the third, until he got all his sheep. He counted all of it, all his flock, and then he led them to where he wanted his sheep to go. Question though, how did the sheep recognize the shepherd? There's a lot of their mixed up. How did the sheep recognize the shepherd? That's a good question. Thanks for asking. <laughs> because the sheep, the sheep recognized the voice of the shepherd. They knew who the shepherd was. And this is the image. This is the image that Jesus wants to convey to all of us on this Good Shepherd Sunday. Just like the sheep who knew their shepherd, who recognized the voice of the shepherd and followed him, we should do the same. With this, I'm going to impart to you three key points of how we become true sheep of the Good Shepherd or how we, how we become true disciples of Jesus. First one, we have to know our shepherd. We have to know who Jesus is. Simple logic, how can we recognize his voice? How can we follow Jesus if we don't know who he is in our life? And how do we do that, Father? Thanks for the question again. Are you familiar with the book entitled Bible? Are you familiar with that book? You better be. That's the story of Jesus. Read your Bible. If you don't have a Bible, you should have a Bible at home. It's on the, if you have an iPhone, it's right there. Read the Bible. That's how you know who Jesus is. You know, many people left the church, not just Catholics, but Christians in general, because they thought that religion is just a set of rules. They're wrong. Christianity is a relationship with this God-man named Jesus. Because if we think religion is just a set of rules that the church would impose for us to do, they don't even think coming to church. Catholicism, Christianity, is first and foremost a relationship with this good shepherd, Jesus. And if you don't know who Jesus is, then there's no way you can recognize or follow him. First, know who Jesus is. Read your Bible. We good with that? One down. Second, if we know who Jesus is, if we know who our shepherd is, then we listen to him. We'll listen to his voice. 
And that's the only voice we have to listen. Because today, there are so many, many, many voices out there. And it's very confusing. And you know what I mean. Just very confusing, so loud, so noisy, so much distraction out there, so many voices, and you ask the questions, which voice I'm going to listen? Only the voice of the shepherd. That's why you have to know him so that you can recognize his voice. You following me? Good. That's the second. Now, Father, how do I listen to the voice of Jesus? Thanks for asking that question again. Are you familiar with this word, prayer? There's so many forms of prayer. Rosary, um, three o'clock habit, the chaplet of divine mercy, novena, you know, like here, this is the highest form of prayer, by the way, coming together as a family, as a community. But when I say prayer, this kind of prayer is the one-on-one. -on -one. Like you're talking to your husband or to your wife or to your son, to your daughter, to a friend. Like, this is my friend, I'm talking to him, something like that. This is the kind of prayer I mean. How do you know? How do you listen to the voice of Jesus? You pray. Father, I'm so busy. I have no time to pray. Liar! Sorry about that. It's a big lie. Because there's a time for everything. You just have to know your priority. And if God is not your priority in life, then don't even think about prayer. But if Jesus is important to you, then set a time in silence. Silence. Spend. We have 24 hours a day. How many minutes is that? How many seconds is that? Spend just five minutes alone with Jesus. If you can watch the TV for so many hours, if you could check your Facebook every second, how can't you talk to the very important voice that we need to listen? You follow me? Good. That's two. We have to know the shepherd. If we know the shepherd, if we know Jesus, then we have to listen to Jesus. The third, just like the sheep, because they know the shepherd and they recognize his voice. And once their name is being called, what did the sheep do? Run away? They follow him wherever the shepherd leads them. If we know who Jesus is, we listen to him, then we follow him wherever Jesus leads us in this life. Just like shepherds, they know that on the other side of the hill, there's this green pastures, there's a spring of water. But before the shepherd would get there along with the sheep, they have to walk on this rough, dusty road. They have to climb these hills. But the shepherd knows that it's right there on the other side of the hill. There's... <sighs> Sometimes Jesus leads us. God knows what is best for us. And he is leading us to what is best for us. But sometimes we have to, we have to 
to go along on this journey, rough road, dusty, and hilly. And we don't understand at times, like the sheep, they just have to follow their sheep, shepherd, you know, because they trust, they trust their shepherd. We should have that attitude. Let Jesus lead you. Let him lead you. Because under the leadership of our Lord, we will never miss the way to be with God in the end. Know who Jesus is. Read your Bible. Listen to the voice of the shepherd you pray. Then follow the shepherd and let him lead you in this life. Even if you don't understand yet why we have to walk on this rough road. Trust the shepherd. That's what I do in my life. When I know him, I listen to him, and I follow him, I, I end up, ended up here in Memphis, and now I'm stuck here in Memphis. <laughs> because I know my shepherd. I recognize his voice, I listen to him, and I follow him. And I'm happy wherever the shepherd leads me. Jesus is our good shepherd. Jesus only wants what is best for you. We good? No? Listen and follow the shepherd. Amen. <laughs>